Uh, one of the things a lot of beginning writers struggle with is um, exposition. Um, most writers, uh, let's face it, you don't start with writing fiction. You write about something that you've experienced yourself. You write about your own life. Um, uh, you might change it a little bit, change the names, change a few details. Um, but, uh, you know, normally we draw from our own experience. Um, and a lot of people don't even bother to try to fictionalize it. They just write about their own lives, you know, which is fine. You know, if you have to write a story, you can write a real event from your own life and we'll call it, we'll still call it a narration. It doesn't have to be fiction. Um, but the point is, uh, uh, a lot of times when writers do this and they start out their writing, um, they launch into something and they, they immediately get to the main conflict. Now, it's not that that can't work, but often what that lacks is it lacks, um, uh, it lacks context and um, it lacks um, detail uh, uh, to basically make it uh, realistic. Um, uh, a lot of beginning writers, they just skip over a lot of the details. Um, they won't always name all the characters involved. Uh, they won't go through the effort of describing the setting, you know, where it is, when it is. Um, and they won't um, take the time to really flesh out what uh, what's going on in a room, you know, what things look like. Um, and those things are important. Um, you know, on the very basic level, they simply make your, your story sound, um, well, it sounds more interesting. There's more for us to um, engage with. Um, um, but it also makes it seem more realistic, um, you know. Um, it, it, without those details, um, you know, you're lucky if it if it sounds like a police report, you know, um, uh, two white male Caucasians walk through the door on this address. You know, there's details in that, but it, it just sounds sterile. So when you describe it the way you would tell a story, but also you go into those details, you know, maybe you don't give the address, but you'll, you know, talk about the street or or the weather, or things like that. Um, those things are very crucial. Um, they, they flesh out a story, they make it more believable, and then they also give us that context that does later on become important. So you're going to see that a little bit in this. Uh, we're going to read some excerpts from a story called Broken Chain, and you're going to see how it brings in a lot of details. Some of them don't seem very important, but they um, they make Alfonso, the main character, seem more believable, and some of them are important, and they they um, they give us hints as to what the main conflict is going to be later on. So take a look. <laughs> 